stress is not a bad thing at all. Stress can be an amazing factor for performance. However, when the stressor is removed, you want to be able to go back to the calm state to recharge and be able to go back at it again. And we see a lot of people having a difficult time trying to go back to a state of a calm baseline and gradually accumulate more stress throughout the day. That's when decision fatigue sets in. So I would love a little bit more context on how you think about stress and effective stress management in lieu of that quote. Yeah, I mean, I, I really think people should embrace stress. Uh, they should look at it as a performance enhancer in that, that regard because that's the way it can be used. It's just most people aren't looking at it that way so they don't have access to being able to do it that way. And once you understand the benefits of stressing the body, I mean, you know, everything we do, I mean, it's, take exercise. It's the, it, it will create the most stressful response in the body in the course of a week, uh, a session of exercise. And yet we know that's healthy for us, right? And so what's happening is, um, so the body, and we call this the familiar zone. So there's this little zone where the body fluctuates in, you know, a little sine wave through this zone. And there's an upper border and a lower border. This is where we are in our everyday lives and saying, you know, I can handle anything within this zone. What happens is you, when you stress, you take little excursions outside of that zone. And the more times you do that, the body goes, wow, I need to adapt because this environment is different than the environment I was in. So suddenly the body upgrades itself to a higher uh, zone being the familiar zone. We see this a lot with people that go through weight loss programs. So uh, let's say they're sedentary, they eat poorly. So they go on a diet, they start exercising and for three months, they've lost 20 pounds. And then the next three months, they continue doing the same workouts and eating healthy and their weight doesn't budge. And they're like, you know, what happened here? And what it is, is this is epigenetics at work. The, the body adapts, it adjusts um, the functioning of genes, of the proteome, all of this in order to adapt to that new style to make it your new normal, I guess is the best way to say it. But we see this with every aspect of, of human life. I mean, we are defined as a human system. We are a complex adaptive system. And that means we adapt as we go through life and, and we have emergence of new properties. So emergence of a new state. And this is what we do when we, we stress the body. I mean, you know, you think about vegetables. I mean, most people will tell you vegetables are healthy, but what they don't realize is vegetables are also toxic in the body. But that's one of the benefits of it. This is the hormetic effect where the phytosterols get in the bloodstream, go to the liver. The liver says, whoa, this is not a healthy sterile and they have to detoxify it. So what it does is it causes the liver to upregulate the um, CYP450 enzymes that detoxify the body. Well, when it's upregulated, it can cleanse the blood even better. So it's actually doing a positive thing for the body by doing so. If what you've heard on Flow Research Collective Radio has been helpful, please consider doing us a solid and leaving us a review on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you are listening to this. Reviews help us connect to a wider audience so we can get these peak performance principles out to more people. Thank you.